Alright, I am back and ready to continue chapter 5. I just started this chapter and this may seem familiar to y'all if you played the Dead Space 2 demo. So yes, this is where the Dead Space 2 demo takes place, where it starts off. And down here I gotta use my melee to open this one locker instead of pressing the A button. I really need to stop ordering hot sauce on my burritos. Causes unnatural side effects. If you're wondering why I'm in this frozen crypt, it's because unitologists store dead bodies of former unitologist members down here in the bunker. Uh, because that's what they say they ascend into the next dimension if their body is intact. Fully intact. So, that's why they keep them down here. I think I should purchase the line gun pretty soon. I'll probably do that soon, maybe within the next chapter or so. Okay, here are some tactics that I use. There's a little uh, pipe here that I can use to throw at this slasher. And I'm going to use his uh, I thought I was blade arm, but apparently not. Oh well. I can use that blade arm to knock out one of the legs of the puker. I'm going to go ahead and drop this javelin spear because I'm not going to sell it. It's not worth it. Some more pipes. I got his leg. Stomp. I got a blade. I got that guy's leg. Stomp. That way I'm conserving ammo. I got another stasis pack. And there's a cougar around this corner. I'm just gonna go ahead and stasis him. There's actually a stasis recharge station nearby. So I don't have to worry about using up my stasis. And let's see, there's a slasher playing dead over there, so I'm gonna see if I can grab a blade or from a slasher that I kill. Where's that pipe? There's supposed to be two pipes. I think it disappeared on me. No blades? Okay, I'm gonna just have to do this the old fashioned way, I guess. You are good as dead. There's one more mini locker here. Alright, pressing on. I think I found the exit, but it's way above me. Gravity controls are locked out. Data? Fuck! There's a gold semiconductor right here. Go ahead and pick that up. And yeah, here's a recharge station, since I used one of the stasis on uh, the puker. That schematic was for a weapon known as the Ripper. Here's a power note too, but I'm not gonna get that schematic. I'm not gonna use the Ripper. It's a pretty good tool though. It's not good enough. So yeah. And I'm gonna have to do a puzzle right here. And this puzzle is actually pretty easy. If you played the demo, you already know how to do this. But if you haven't played the demo, it's a really simple puzzle. You just gotta use a uh, kinesis. You pull those. Uh, prongs down and uh gotta be kind of quick you can use stasis to help you slow it down but if you're quick enough you don't have to use it that much just gonna use it in this last part because the last part it kind of disappears really fast when it prongs and that's it So I can go through. And yeah, that's how the, the people's dead bodies go through into the crypt. They float down from above and go down there and get put in one of uh, 
in an open space in the crypt area. Got a stasis stat so I can fly through. And over here is a medium med pack schematic. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Because uh, I'll probably buy medium med packs later on in the game. I think they're jamming our signal with a mobile device. Someone get me the frequency on that jammer! They must have a gunship position near the compound. Now what? Change your plans? No. If they knew where we were, they would have killed us by now. Oh shit! Signal fading! Just follow your locator and hurry. I'll do that in just a sec as soon as I put up some stuff. So I got the medium med pack schematic downloaded into the store and sell that gold semiconductor and I'll actually sell the line racks and the stasis packs. I don't really need to keep more than just one in my inventory slot. Well three total but you know what I mean. I got in everything else. Actually I could have picked up that ripper schematic and put it in there. Oh well. I don't really care. There's uh, some credits over here. Why can't the lights ever be working properly? I got one node. Let's see what I can do. I don't know if I can really do much with one node. Uh, You know what? I don't think I'm going to actually do anything right now. I'm going to save it until I get some more nodes. I just got to use Kinesis here to move these coffin holders. Move them out the way so you can crawl into the vent. Alright, there we go. Wait, I want to double check. Did I get those credits? Yeah, I did. I just wanted to double check. Anyways, before you leave this room, make sure you go back here for ammo. And the most important thing that's back here is 10,000 credits. So yeah, you don't want to miss that. And uh, whew. and so now you can leave this room. Just don't forget that. Go back there and get that 10,000 credits and ammo. There's a schematic over here, but uh, no, nah, I'm not going to go ahead and take that. Let's see. But there is some ammo over here, so I'll take that. Five straight. Whoa! I think that thing was going. I'm right, gonna leave this room now. And uh, oh, I thought there was a pole right there, a pipe. There's a pipe right here I could use. A damage to my uh, kinesis is not upgraded yet, so. It's not going to kill that lurker in one shot. Once I upgrade it though, it'll be able to take down lurkers in one shot. There's still one slasher coming. There he is. That's where you can see that pipe for the slasher's legs. Oh well. What I do for this part is take out my pulse rifle and go back to this elevator and just wait right here in this hallway and just trap the, the pack so that way there's some one at a time into this hallway. <laughs> 